superstition today, and since today is Earth Day, um, I wanted to offer you guys a little from one of my favorite books, Awakening the Spine by Vanda Scarabelli. Um, and I just thought it was a really great reading for our Earth Day and our Earth-centered practice um, today. So if you would come into that comfortable seated position, or you can lay back in Shavasana if you'd like. Um, take a moment to close your eyes and sit comfortably or be comfortable. Starting to breathe in through your nose and out through your nose or mouth. Starting to feel that grounding sensation where your body is touching the earth. And as you're breathing in and out, just acknowledging that even though you feel like you're pulling the air in and pushing the air out, there is this atmospheric pressure all around you that's helping to create that breath. You're not solely responsible for it. If it feels comfortable to take a few deeper breaths, go ahead and take a few longer inhales and exhales and come into a place where you could settle. The pull of gravity under our feet makes it possible for us to extend the upper part of the spine. And this extension to also release tension between the vertebra. Gravity is like a magnet attracting us to the earth. But this attraction is not limited to pulling us down. It also allows us to stretch in the opposite direction toward the sky. This is a natural process, ever present, not only in human beings, but in all upright living things, in trees, in growing flowers, and in plants. The roots of a tree are pulled deeply down toward the center of the earth, while the trunk grows vertically toward the sky elongating and spreading through the branches into the space around it. The deeper the roots penetrate into the ground, traveling below the surface of the earth, the taller and stronger grows the tree. Above the surface of the earth, the tree, mostly through its leaves, receives air, sun, and rainwater, enabling it to develop its sap. Below the surface of the earth, by absorbing the water and minerals through its roots, the tree receives nourishment and strength. The central point of the tree where it touches the earth's surface corresponds in our body to the waist, where the human spine moves in both directions. When you're ready, start to breathe that air in through the nose and out through the nose, perhaps finding your ujjayi rhythm of breath. Again, acknowledging that waist that center point of your body. It has so many names, that stomach, that midsection, that center of gravity. I encourage you to be in the flow today and do the things that you would like to do. When you're ready, keep that breath at the forefront, keeping that image of the waist, of your stomach, of your midsection, of that fact your upper body could spiral up and be light even as your lower body is grounded keep all of those things in the forefront of your flow and your breath today opening your eyes keeping them soft inhale to take your arms up and overhead as you exhale drop your twist over to the right you could leave your arms open for an open twist or cross that left hand over to the right knee Inhale, stretching the spine long from the waist. Exhale, maybe send the eye gaze out over that right shoulder. Inhale, coming back to the center line. Exhale, taking your twist in the opposite direction. Again, you could take an open twist here, or you could let the right hand scoot across the body and touch that left knee or thigh. Inhale to come back to the center line. As you exhale, drop your twist over to that right side. Let your left hand come to your right knee, but let your left ear drop down towards your shoulder. So you're taking that ear to shoulder to stretch through that right side of your neck. Soften your mouth, breathe. Soften your jaw, your tongue, your teeth. Bring your head back to the center line. Inhale to take the arms up. Exhale, drop your twist to the left. Your right hand comes to your left knee. 
and your right ear drops to your right shoulder. I know that might feel a little funny. Soften your mouth, your lips. Keep breathing into this space, into that left side of your neck. Bring your head back on top of your spine. Gently inhale to take the arms up and overhead. Exhale, drop that twist over to the right. Bring the left ear down to the left shoulder. Left hand touches right knee. Inhale. Soften your jaw. Soften your neck. Exhale. Head stacks back on top of the body. Inhale to take it back up. Exhale, drop your twist to the left. Right hand touches left knee. Right ear drops down to the right shoulder. Keep your breath flowing, relaxing through that left shoulder, left side of the neck. One more breath. Inhale to come back to the center line, head stacks on top. Exhale, palms press down to heart center. Dropping your hands onto your knees as you inhale, elongate through the spine, take that seated cow. As you exhale, round back into your seated cat, interlace your fingers and press your hands away from your body. Palms pressing forward. Inhale to take the arms up and overhead. Exhale, drop your twist over to the right. Inhale to come back to the center. Exhale, drop your twist over to the left, spiraling up. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, drop your twist over to the right. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, drop your twist over to the left. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, those palms down through heart center. Interlace your fingers and press the spine into your cat shape, pressing the soft part of your hands, the palms of your hands forward. Inhale to take it back up. Exhale, sweep your fingers down beside you on the floor. Energize the fingers, drop the shoulders, roll the chin down to the chest, hug the low belly in. Soften your jaw once again, roll the right ear over to the right shoulder, find that pause, left shoulder relaxes. Roll the chin back down to the chest, left ear over to the left shoulder. Find that pause, right shoulder relaxes. Roll the chin back down to the chest. Inhale to stack your head on top of your body. Take your time, step the bottoms of your feet to the mat, hook your hamstrings and roll yourself down. When you get all the way down onto your back, walk your heels a little closer to your glutes, press your palms down by your sides, tuck your tailbone under, energize through your core and lift up to hip bridge. Exhale, rolling back down, keeping your dynamic hip bridge. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, rolling down. Inhale, find that lift. Exhale, find that lower. One more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Stretch your legs out nice and long. Interlacing your fingers behind the back of your head, curling head and shoulders off the mat, make your brain cradle. Take your right shoulder blade over to the mat and then stir it around, taking the left shoulder blade around, going in front and down to the back. And take that little circle. Legs charge, go the entire circle around the front of your body, all the way around, and circling up into a little crunch, and all the way around and down and back, and circling up into a little crunch. Flex through the feet if you'd like, or point the toes, but use those thighs. One more time, little circle, lifting up through the abdominal muscles, and pause, go the other way, rolling onto that left shoulder and rolling up and around. Make that little half circle, rolling up and around. Legs breathing here. Remember staying in that flow. Feel the parts of your body that are touching the earth, not pulling on the head, not pulling on the neck. Two more circles, feeling the top part of the abdominal muscles. Last one. Beautiful, coming all the way back. Reach your arms over your head. Exhale, tuck your chin to your chest and roll up. Pilates style, reach all the way for your feet. I know it's tough, you can do it. Tuck the chin into the chest and roll back. You've got this one vertebra at a time. Keep it controlled through your legs. We're coming up again. Tuck the chin to chest, firm the legs or bend your knees and wrap your hands around, reaching for those hamstrings. You have options. Tuck the chin in and roll yourself all the way down and back, utilizing those core muscles. Tuck the chin in, firm the legs. Rolling up, you've got this. One more time, rolling all the way back. Tucking the chin in, really rounding down. And last time, as you curl up, round up and reach for those feet. Reach just past the feet, pause. Inhale, take your heart long, drop your fingers down wherever they land is great. Separate the feet if you'd like, bend the knees. Exhale, little tip from the hip, find that fold just a little bit. Inhale, 
little half lift. Exhale, maybe you walk your fingers forward and take it a little deeper. Inhale, little half lift. Exhale, one more time, find that fold. Nice. Inhale, walk the fingers back in. Swing your legs around to the right, coming to your tabletop position, your hands and knees. Curl your fingers on the mat. As you tuck those toes under, maybe you walk your hands forward, levitate the knees two inches away from the earth. Squeeze the inner arms towards one another. Lift that right foot center line, so you're coming into your hovering table with one leg. As you inhale, kick the right leg up and back, three-legged dog, coming back down into that hovering table pose. Again, kick that right leg up, three-legged dog, back into hovering table, right foot hovers. One more time. Inhale, kick it up, three-legged dog, back to that hovering table pose. Drop the right foot, but let the knees continue to hover. Option to come to the tippy fingers of your left hand, or reach your left hand back and touch your right knee. Now bring that left hand back to the earth. Option to come to the fingers. Option to reach back and touch the right knee. One more time. Come to the fingers or reach back and touch the knee. Good, coming back to that hovering table. Lower your knees, untuck your toes, press back, child's pose. Big exhale as you let it go. Inhale, ripple forward to your tabletop position. Walk your hands forward a little if you need to. Lower your chest and your chin. Scoop into your baby cobra pose. Roll your collarbones open. Exhale your forehead back down to the mat. Tuck your toes. Press back to down dog through knees or through full plank pose. Pedal your feet out. A few deep knee bends. Shake your head. Let it go. When you're ready, look forward just slightly and lower your knees two inches away from the floor, hovering table. Option to walk those hands back if it feels like too much. Left foot lifts and just taking that hovering table into one leg. As you inhale, kick the left leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, bring it back to that hovering table pose. Curl those fingers on the mat, inhale it up, three-legged dog. Left leg lifts slightly, coming back, hovering table pose. One more time, kick it up, left leg lifts slightly and bring it back, hovering table. Now, maybe you just come to the tippy fingers of that right hand, or as you walk those left toes, maybe you start to walk the right hand back to the left knee, and bring it back. Good, center yourself up, make sure everything is square, come to the tippy fingers of that right hand, or maybe walk that right hand back to the left knee. Good, one more time, maybe to the fingers, or maybe you reach that right hand back to the left knee. Try not to lean, Coming back into that hovering table. Lower your knees and press back, child's pose. Awesome. Inhale, ripple forward, move your hands forward if you'd like. Lower chest and chin, scoop into your baby cobra pose. Nice, stay in the flow. Lower your forehead, tuck your toes, down dog, the way you get there. Look forward towards your wrist, bend your knees, walk foot to be toe or hop the feet in towards the hands. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, sit back, chair pose. Open your right arm out to the right, take a twist. Bring it back to the center. Open your left arm out, take a twist. Back to the center, rise high, extended mountain. Exhale, swan dive over your legs. Inhale, lift. Exhale, step back with both feet. Pause, press the floor away. Feel the inner arms dial towards one another, breathing into this space. Let your breath be the flow here. Charge those legs. As you exhale, undulate up and back, downward facing dog. Looking slightly forward, lower the knees two inches away from the floor. Lift that right foot to the midline. You're in your hovering table on your left foot. Or keep that left knee down. Inhale, kick the right leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, bring it back, hovering table pose. Kick it up, three-legged dog. Back to that hovering table, right foot hovers. One more time, kick it up, three-legged dog. Back to that hovering table pose. Drop the right toes, center up with the right hand a little if you'd like. Left fingertips to the floor or left hand reaches back for that right knee. Balance out the pelvis, bring the left hand back to the floor. Again, reach back with that left hand or come to the fingertips and balance it out once again. Bring that left hand back one last time. Three is the magic number. Bring that left hand back, lower the knees, child's pose. Inhale, scoop the heart forward, lower, knees, chest, and chin, striking cobra's pose. Beautiful work, lower that third eye to the floor. Downward facing dog, your path there. Lower those knees two inches away from the floor. 
Left foot comes to the center line just a little bit. Keep that right knee low. Inhale, left leg goes up, three-legged dog. Exhale, bring it back, hovering table. Left leg goes up, three-legged dog. Bring it back, hovering table one more time. Left leg goes up, three-legged dog. Bring it back, hovering table, good. Now drop those left toes. Center up a little with that left hand if you'd like. Right fingertips come to the earth, coming onto the dome of the hand, or right hand touches that left knee. Balance your hips. Right hand comes back to the floor. Let's try it again. Bring that right hand to fingertips or back to the left knee and back to the floor. Use those side waist muscles, fingertips, or back to that left knee and back down to the floor. Lower those knees, press back, child's pose. Look yourself forward as you scoop into that striking cobra pose. Scoop your body on the mat. Inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Your path, your pace. Look forward towards your wrists, bend your knees, walk, float, tippy toe, or hop the feet in towards the hands. Inhale, little half lift. Exhale, back to your fold. Inhale, sit back, chair pose, Utkatasana. Sweep the right arm back, open up the side body, bring it back to the center. Sweep that left arm back, open up the side body, bring it back to the center, rise. Extended mountain pose. Exhale, swan it down over your legs. Inhale, little half lift. Left hand comes to the center line on block or floor or shin. Right arm twists up as left knee bends. Breathing into this space. Exhale, right hand twists down. Right knee bends. Right hand takes block or floor or shin as that left arm lifts up. Open that side body. Beautiful. Exhale, the left hand back down. Move the block or keep it. Inhale, half lift. Exhale back to your fold, sit back, chair pose. Sweep the right arm back, take a big breath, bring it back to the center. Sweep the left arm back, nice. Bring it back to the center, rise high, palms pressed to heart, center here. Turn the right toes out and slide that right foot up the left inner thigh. As you start to come to your first tree variation, eye gaze goes to something unmoving in your space. Shift the pubic bone up towards the navel, maybe to play, you start to lift the hands. You can stretch them apart, maybe stretching all the fingers, all 10 fingers spread nice and wide. Squeeze your left butt cheek a little, squeeze the left hip in, and see if you can find your balance for three more breaths. Nothing really gripping through that left foot, just find that flow. Nice, now turn the right knee back towards the short edge of your mat, palms pressed to heart center. Kick that right leg back into warrior three. Take your time to get there. Bend the left knee as much as you need to. Reach the arms all the way back or open to the side like airplane or bird wings. Deep breath in this space. One more big inhale, reach the crown of your head long. Exhale, bend the left knee, step the right foot back, opening out into warrior two. Inhale, straighten through your left leg. Reach your left arm forward, pause. Right hand touches right hip. Kind of in that little half triangle space. We're gonna inhale, reach the left arm up, sky archer pose, like you're taking that little reverse of your triangle, and then exhale, reach it back down halfway, don't go the whole way. Inhale, reach it up, sky archer pose. Exhale, come back down halfway. Roll to the big toe side of your left foot, reach up, inhale. Exhale, reach long, triangle pose, dropping left hand to left shin, right arm might reach up, breathe. Open up through the front of the body, Zipper up through the pubic bone like you're zipping up a tight pair of jeans and reach that right arm up. Little micro bend in the left knee as you rise back into warrior two. Straighten that left leg. Turn all ten toes to the long edge of your mat. Hands touch your hips. Inhale your heart high. Scoot those fingers around so your thumbs are on the back of your pelvis and your heart is open. Exhale, tip from your hip halfway. And then come all the way down as you press your feet apart from one another. Feel your hamstrings work here. Inhale, open through the collarbones. Let the eye gaze go to a neutral point. Press the feet apart from one another. Exhale, drop your fingers down under your eye gaze from wherever they've been. Inhale, little half lift. Exhale, pivot around towards your right foot at the back edge of your mat. Step your left foot in to meet your right foot forward fold. Inhale, little half lift. Exhale, back to your fold. Inhale, sit back, chair pose, Utkatasana. Drop the right arm back, take a big breath. Bring it back to the center. Drop the left arm back. Take a big breath. Bring it back to the center. Rising to your extended mountain pose. Press your palms to heart center. 
same tree pose. Left foot is your grounded foot. Right foot turns out. Maybe you use that hand to help the right foot to your inner thigh of your left leg. Maybe you're working towards a wall here. Find your balance. Same side tree pose. We're just taking it a little bit stronger this time. Hips shift forward. Maybe arms reach up. Maybe palms connect overhead. Breathing here. Finding something unmoving to focus on. But keeping that flow of breath. Soften your jaw. Draw your hands back onto your heart. Turn your right knee back towards the short edge of your mat. As you kick that right foot all the way back, you're once again in warrior three on the left side. Reach the arms back or open or keep your palms pressing to heart center as you find that warrior three space. Strong heart, strong legs. Deep bend in that left knee, step back. Warrior two, we're going around the world, my friends. Straighten through that left leg. Right hand touches right hip. Left arm reaches forward, hinge and pause. Press down through the left foot, inhale, rise up. Sky archer pose, left arm lifts. Bringing it back down, reach long, half triangle. Coming back up, sky archer. Breathe it back down, exhale, half triangle. Good, reach it up, sky archer. And coming back down, exhale, drop left hand to left shin, right arm unfurls, triangle pose. You might wrap your right arm behind your back, taking that partial bind if you'd like. Or maybe you have something else you like to practice, maybe reaching down to hook the left big toes or turning to gaze up over your right shoulder. Remember the feet are very active here as you reach that right arm back up. Micro bend the left knee to rise back into warrior two. Straighten through the left leg. Turn all 10 toes to the long edge of your mat. Exhale, tip from your hip, find your fold. Inhale, little half lift. Exhale, walk your hands behind you. Elbows might bend at 90 degrees. Or perhaps you're resting that forehead on a block or a stack of blocks. Inhale, stretch the arms long. Exhale, re-bend the elbows like you're pulling yourself down between your legs. Inhale, stretch long the arms. Exhale, re-bend the elbows. One more time. Inhale from wherever you've been. Press your feet apart. Your arms go long. Exhale, re-bend the elbows, pause. <sighs> Inhale, walk the fingers back under the eye gaze. Exhale, pivot around towards your right foot at the front edge of your mat. Step your right foot back to meet your left foot in your plank pose. Rock slightly forward, lowering chaturanga or knees, chest and chin, switching to the tops of your feet for upward facing dog or baby cobra. Exhaling into downward facing. Good, take a big breath here, open your mouth, let it out if you need to. Rise high on those tippy toes, look forward towards your hands, walk float tippy toe or hop the feet in towards the hands. Inhale, little half lift. Exhale back to your fold, sit back, chair pose. Sweep the right arm back. Squeeze the inner thighs, lift that right arm up. Sweep the left arm back. Squeeze the inner thighs, lift that left arm up, straighten through both legs. Exhale those palms down to heart center. Body weight goes into that right foot, left foot turns out and walks to that calf muscle. As you come into your tree pose, first variation on this side, wiggle those right toes a little bit. Now shift the entire pelvis forward. I know it feels a little scary, but the more you sink into it and just relax it, the less balance you have. When you're ready, maybe energize those arms. Take all 10 fingers out so wide here. Again, tap back into our reading from the beginning of the practice. There is gravity allowing us to spiral up towards the sky. It's just us holding on as tight as we can. We don't have to hold on that tight. When you're ready, start to dial that left knee back towards the center line. Press your palms to heart center. From your hip, and as you hinge back into warrior three, float the arms all the way back like bird wings or open them out to the side like airplane. Deep breath. Reach the crown of your head long. Reach through your left foot. Deep rebend in your right knee, step it back into your two. Nice. Straighten through that right leg. Left hand comes to your left hip. Right palm might flip up. Reach long over your right leg. Change your mind. Come back up. Straighten through that right leg and reach that right arm back, Sky Archer. And then reach it long. Keep both legs nice and straight as you reach out, half triangle. Inhale, take it up, Sky Archer. 
Good, flow with your breath, exhale into that half triangle. One more time, plant through the big toe ball mount of your right foot, reach up, sky archer. Reaching back, half triangle. Now drop the right hand to right shin, left arm unfurls, finding trikonasana triangle pose. Imagine that your body is between two panes of glass, everything except for those cute little left toes. As you open that heart nice and wide, walk the right hand up as high as it needs to go to find its place, to find its security here. Little micro bend in that right knee, rising back up into your warrior two. Straighten through the right leg, turn all 10 toes to the front of your mat. Hands come behind you as you take those thumbs back onto your SI joint, squeeze those elbows in together. That's tough for me too, I am with you. Let the heart protrude forward. Inhale, heart centered, exhale, tip from your hip. Keep the collarbones open. So don't close in, really round back. Come halfway and then all the way if you'd like. Keep stretching the spine long. Find your breath and push your feet apart from one another. Feel those glutes and hamstrings really active here. Good, and then exhale your fingers down on your eye gaze. Inhale, little half lift. Exhale, pivoting around towards your left foot at the back edge of your mat. Step your right foot in to meet your left foot. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, back to your fold. Sit in pose. Sweep your right arm back. Bring it back to the center, stay deep in your chair, sweep your left arm back. Bring it back to the center, stay deep in your chair, and then rise up, both legs straighten as you come into that extended mountain pose. Palms press to heart center. You're on your same side tree, turn the left foot out, and maybe use that hand to walk the left foot to your inner right thigh. Now squeeze the right hip in, stand tall. Deep, calm breaths in this space as maybe the arms reach up. Maybe you move to a wall for support or balance. Maybe the palms press overhead. Send your eyes to something unmoving in your space for three, two, and one. Slowly drawing those hands down to heart center. Turn your left knee towards the short edge of your mat. Bend a little into your right knee if you'd like as you tip from the hip, floating back into that warrior three. Reach the arms behind you or open to the side or keep the palms pressing to heart center in that right side, warrior three. Good, deep rebend in that right knee, stepping all the way back into warrior two. Beautiful work, my friends. Straighten through that right leg. Left hand comes to the left hip. Right palm might flip up and reach long, half triangle. Now inhale, take it up, sky archer that triangle and exhale reach long roll into that right big toe ball mount reach up sky archer and then reach long finding that half triangle one more time reach up reach and breathe and as you exhale come forward dropping that right hand to right shin left arm might lift up or maybe left arm wraps behind your back taking that partial bind if there's another variation you'd like maybe that left hand comes behind you or reaches just to your hip again. Maybe the right hand comes to a block or perhaps you gaze up over that left shoulder. Press the feet apart from one another. Release that left arm. Re-bend through that right knee, rising back up into your warrior two and then straightening through that right leg. Turn all 10 toes to the long edge of your mat. Exhale, tip from your hip, finding your fold. Inhale, little half lift. Exhale, walk your hands behind you. Elbows might bend at 90 degrees. Adjust your feet so you're slightly pigeon-toed. Inhale, little half lift. Exhale, re-bend the elbows. Good, inhale, little half lift. Exhale, re-bend the elbows. One more time. Inhale, little half lift. Exhale, re-bend the elbows. Maybe you're placing the crown of your head on the floor. Maybe you're working into a tripod headstand, or maybe you're just working on pressing the feet apart from another and rocking that body weight forward into the balls of the feet so that your hips aren't lagging back. You're rocking forward. Two more breaths as you zipper through that low belly. Take your options, whatever they feel like today. Inhale, walk the fingers out under the eye gaze, strong posterior chain of muscles. Exhale, pivoting around towards that left foot at the front edge of your mat. Step your left foot back to meet your right foot in your plank position. Rock slightly forward, lowering chaturanga or knees, chest, and chin, switching on the inhale to upward facing dog or baby cobra, and meeting in downward facing dog. I will meet you there. 
Inhale to take that right leg more back than up. Exhale, pull the right knee in towards the chest, tight, tight, tight. Turn the angle of your right shin for pigeon pose. Walk your fingers forward, inhale your heart long. Exhale, slowly sink down through your left leg. And pigeon. As you exhale again, walk those elbows down to the earth. Stay in your flow. Inhale, walk the fingers back up. Exhale, walk them all the way forward. Doing a little wave with the spine. Inhale, walk them back up. I know it's tough. Exhale, walk them all the way forward. We just want to stay forward, don't we? Inhale, walk them all the way up. Plant your palms. Curl those fingers. Tuck your left toes under. Lift your left knee up. And press that right leg back up into three-legged dog. Exhale, pull that right knee through to the chest. Step the right foot down wherever it lands is fine. Roll the left heel down 45 degrees, rising up to Virabhadrasana warrior one. Now look up towards those thumbs. Maybe your hands stay at your hips or at prayer center. I'll leave it up to you, however you are feeling. From wherever you've been, roll off your left heel. Hands sweep down to sandwich your right foot. Step back into your three-legged plank pose. Pause. Curl those fingers on the mat and breathe. <sighs> Zipper the low belly in and find your breath. Point your right toe. <sighs> Good. Taking it through a three-legged vinyasa, a four-legged vinyasa, or dropping those toes. Heading straight back to downward facing dog. I'll leave it up to you. Send that left leg more back than up. Exhale, pull the left knee in towards the chest, tight, tight, tight. Change the angle of the left shin, settling into your pigeon pose. Walk that right foot back, lower the right knee, untuck the toes. Be sweet to yourself as you create this wave in your spine. So if you need support underneath that left hip, bring it. Inhale, the heart goes high. Exhale, walk the hands forward. Go slow, walk the hands back in as you inhale, fill the body with breath. Exhale, walking the hands forward. Inhale, walking it back in, rising up. Ah, oh, we just wanna stay forward, but that's just not in the cards right now. Walk it forward, take your time. And walk it back in, stay high. Plant those palms, curl your fingers on the mat, tuck those right toes under, lift the right knee up and pull that left knee up to the center line. Good, take your time as you stretch it back into that three-legged plank, you've got this. Breathing, rock a little body weight forward and you can always bring the right knee down if you'd like. Hug the low belly in, keep the crown of the head in line with the spine, point through those left toes, you've got this. Three-legged vinyasa, Four-legged vinyasa or straight back into downward facing dog. Whatever feels most like you. Inhale to take that left leg more back than up. Exhale, pull the left knee in towards the chest. Tight, tight, tight. Step your left foot down. Roll your right heel down. 45 degrees. Rising up. Virabhadrasana. Warrior one on that left side. Eye gaze might go to your thumbs. Slide the shoulders down away from the ears. Find your breath here. Inhaling your breathing in, exhaling you feel that swirl elongating through the vertebra. Now, chin comes parallel to the floor, roll off your right heel, dropping your hands down and around that left foot. Step your right foot in to meet your left foot forward fold. Inhale, little half lift. Exhale back to your fold, sink back, chair pose, utkatasana. Sweep the right arm back, bring it up to the center. Sweep the left arm back, stay in your chair. Bring it Center, rise high, extended mountain pose. Exhale your palms to heart center. Using that left hand to help that left foot up to your right inner thigh for tree pose. Or maybe you take it into your half lotus variation in your tree today. Zipper through that low belly, find whatever that external rotation of that left leg is and breathe. If you'd like, you can always take the arms up, stretch the fingers wide apart from one another, or create that little space overhead, pressing the palms in. Finding your breath, pull the low ribs in, feel yourself become really congruent here. And then pressing the palms back to heart center. Use your hand to slide the left leg down the right leg just a little, sitting back into your figure four stretch. 
Now really squeeze those triceps in nice and tight here. Nothing hanging, nothing loose. If you'd like, you can drop your hands to the earth, look forward, and really make yourself into that little flying pigeon nugget. Press the left foot against your right tricep. If you'd like, you can stay in my figure four balance. Breathe into that space wherever you are. Squeeze that right hip in. We'll all meet up in mountain pose, dropping that left foot. Inhale, microscopic back bend. Exhale, swan dive down over your legs. Masterful job. Inhale, little half lift. Exhale, sit back, chair pose. Sweep that right arm back, open the heart. Bring it back to the center. Sweep the left arm back. Bring it back to the center, rising tall. Exhale your hands down to your heart. Nothing tricky here, just reaching down for that right foot. You could take it against your left inner thigh for this variation of tree, or you could reach down and take it into the half lotus variation. I'll leave it up to you. If you take that half lotus, make sure your belly isn't coming forward and your butt sticking back. You're really coming into that space of finding that squeeze, which might mean you need to take this hip through a couple ranges of motion first before you find your balance. Option to stretch those fingers nice and wide, shoulders descend away from the ears, or press your palms together overhead. Find something in your space to breathe into. Send your eye gaze there. And then working those hands down just to create that little figure four. Now for you, it might be different than for me. So create the figure four against the wall if you'd like. Do you need a little bit more balance? Or maybe you're flexing the feet, reaching out with the arms to create that balance. Or maybe you're dropping the hands to the earth, curl the fingers on the mat, press that right foot against your left armpit and start to look forward to create your nugget. Cat spine, please. Wherever you are, find a moment to breathe and play. <laughs> There's absolutely no rush. I'll meet you in that figure four stretch, that figure four balance, breathe. When you're ready, coming back into your mountain pose, stepping both feet down, inhale, microscopic back bend, exhale, swan dive down over your legs. Inhale, little half lift, exhale, plant your hands and step your feet back one at a time to your plank position. Now lower your knees first if you'd like, and then lower the left elbow and the right elbow coming to your forearm plank. Breathing into this space, turn your left forearm parallel to the short edge of your mat, rolling open to your right side. Option to leave your right hand down as your right foot slides up your left inner thigh, or reach the right arm up as you take that tree pose variation on your forearm. Breathing here, keep the reach in all four corners of the bod. Nice. Slowly roll that right arm down, slide the right foot down, and come back into your forearm plank. Lower your knees down to the earth. Walk your right hand under your right shoulder and your left hand under your left shoulder. Tuck your toes, curl your fingers, lifting up to your hovering table pose. Left fingers come up onto the dome of your hand or reach back to touch your right knee. Option to bring the right toes off the earth and come into that balance in the middle. Bring it back and down, and touch, and touch, and touch, and touch. Three more, three, or rest in child's, and one. Hovering table, exhale it up and back to downward facing dog. Nice work, my friends. Let the head shake out. Let the breath be super long here, in through the nose, out through the nose or mouth. Ripple forward to that plank position. Knees down first if you'd like, and then right elbow down to the earth, left elbow down to the earth, coming to those forearms. Turn your right forearm parallel to the short edge of your mat. Roll onto that left side, so you're facing the long edge. Left hand might stay down as a kickstand, as that left foot slides up the inner thigh or to the calf muscle. You know your body the best. Maybe that left hand leads, leaves the earth. As you squeeze that right hip up in your tree variation, creating that low vashisthasana. Breathe into this space. Slowly that left hand comes down, slide the left leg long, returning back into that forearm plank position. Lower the knees down to the mat, walk the left hand to the left shoulder, the right hand under the right shoulder, tuck your toes, lifting up to your hovering table pose. Right fingers come away from the earth or they come to the dome. Maybe reach 
the left knee or maybe hover the left foot as you touch across the midline of the body for four and three you can make a child's pose here and two and one slowly up and back to downward facing dog Woo. send that left leg more back than up exhale pull the left knee in towards the chest turn the angle of the shin so that you come into pigeon pose inhale the heart goes high untuck the right toes and lay that foot down exhale walk it long inhale walk it back in slowly hands walk to the front shin and lift up exhale walk it back down slowly one more time undulating the spine walking it back up and in and as you exhale make stacked fists or utilize your block to place your forehead upon breathing into that pigeon space soften your jaw your hip, your toes. Feel your tongue get really soft in the interior of your mouth. Notice the flesh of your right thigh where it touches the earth. And slowly walk the left hand back in towards the left shoulder right hand back in until you're up at your full height. Tuck your right toes under, lift your right knee up and kick that left leg up and back into your three-legged dog. Exhale, pull the left knee tightly in towards the chest. Step the left foot down wherever it lands is great. Right heel rolls down 45 degrees, rising up into your Virabhadrasana warrior one. Now you have lots of options here. You might take your hands your back. You might look up at your fingers, breathe wherever you are. Hands come to heart center, rolling off that right heel, dropping your hands down and around your left foot, stepping back into your plank position. Left hand centers up just a little, rolling open to the right side, lifting that right arm up. Option is slide the right foot up the inner thigh for a tree pose in that Vashistasana. Breathe as you reach, reach, reach. Option to step that right foot behind you, taking a wild thing here. And then from wherever you've been, watch that right hand back down to the earth, stepping back into your plank position. Rock slightly forward, take your knees, chest and chin, or chaturanga. Inhaling to up dog or baby cobra, I'll knee downward facing dog. Take that right leg more back than up. Exhale, pull the right knee in towards the chest, change the angle of the shin, settling down in pigeon pose. As you untuck those left toes, keep the chest proud for a moment, but more than the chest, really pull that low rib in. Exhale, walking it forward. We'll just wave a few times. Inhale, walking the fingers back in towards that right shin. Oh, lifting up. Exhale, coming back down. And then walking it back up. This time as you come back down, make that stacked fists. That block, that breath. Notice if there's somewhere you could soften just a little more, just a little deeper. Hip. Lower back, shoulders. And then on this inhale, walk the right hand back in, walk the left hand back in, under the shoulder, maybe all the way in towards the shin, tuck the back toes under, lift the back up, and hug that right knee into the midline. Take a moment, step that right foot back into your plank position. Shift your right hand to the center line, rolling open to the left long edge of your mat, finding that Vashistasana. Now, maybe you drop that right knee, or maybe you slide the left foot up that right inner thigh, coming into that higher version of that tree pose Vashistasana. Squeeze the right hip in, and if you'd like a little bit more, step that left foot behind you, opening into your wild thing. Deep breaths, heart-centered breaths, wherever you are. And from wherever you've been, watch that left hand back down to the earth.
Stepping back into your plank. Rock slightly forward, taking knees, chest, and chin, or chaturanga. Inhaling to up dog or baby cobra. Exhaling into downward facing dog. Take the right leg more back than up. Pull the right knee into the chest and step the right foot down. Roll the left heel down 45 degrees, rising up, Virabhadrasana, warrior one. Hands are, find your breath in that space. Pull the low ribs in. And then drawing your hands down to heart center, off that left heel, dropping your hands down and around your right foot. Step your left foot in to meet your right foot, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, back to your fold, sit back, chair pose. You know where I'm going with this. Sweep that right arm back, open up, come back to the center. Sweep the left arm back, open up, stay in chair, come back to the center. Drop your hands to the floor, take a curl pose, curling on those fingers. If you want to play again with flying pigeon, please do. Your hips should be open for it. Deep breaths in this space wherever you are. You could also continue to sweep the right arm back and the left arm back. I'll meet you in extended mountain pose, reaching the arms all the way up, straightening the legs, rolling as high as you can on those tippy toes. Get all the way up there. Reach all ten fingers and slowly settling down. Hands come to heart center. Sit back, chair pose. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, swan dive down over your legs. Inhale to find your half lift. Exhale to come into your full. Clasp your opposite elbow overhead. Or let your hands hang on the earth. Or grasp your yogi peace fingers around your big toes. Press the feet apart from one another. And take two more breaths. Lift the hips. Take two more breaths. And then dropping those fingers to the earth. Inhale, finding that half lift through your taut low belly. Exhale, step both feet back. And if you'd like, or jump back into plank. Curl the fingers on the mat. Press the heart away from the floor. Create that cobra hook. Zipper down through the low belly and breathe. Slowly lower your knees down to the earth, pressing back, child's pose, bending the knees, reaching the hips back towards the heels, elongating through the spine. Walk the fingers back in towards the knees, take your time. Add a block between the feet as you come into that hero's pose if you'd like, or simply sit back on the heels if that feels right to you. Bringing your hands to heart center, you're going to interlace just the fingertips. So you're gonna slide your fingers together and then you're going to flip your right hand so that it faces your heart, the palm faces away. Left hand, you can see the finger side of your hand facing forward. Close your eyes, inhale, pull your hands apart from one another, feel the way your shoulders work. Exhale, relax. Inhale, eyes closed, pull your hands apart from one another. Exhale, feel the shoulders relax, release. One more time, inhale, pull the hands apart from one another. Exhale, relax, release. Let your hands drop down onto your upper thighs. Keep your eyes closed. We'll take a round of Kapalabhati breathing here. So if you want to open your eyes and look at me, please feel free. Deep inhale through the nose, soft O with the mouth. Here we go. Good. Find your breath. Curl those fingers on the mat. Option to bring the right knee up the center line and step it back. Left knee up the center line. Step it back. Right knee up the center line. Step it back. Left knee up the center line. Step it back. Let's change it. Right knee comes to left elbow. Step it back. Left knee comes to right elbow. Step it back. Right knee to left elbow. Step it back. Left knee to right elbow. Step it back. Lower your knees. Untuck your toes or keep them tucked. Walk your hands back in. Hero's pose. Now take the opposite crossing in your Ganesh pose. So your left palm faces out, your right palm faces in. Slide your fingers until they curl together and your elbows point open east and west. Tuck the low belly in, relax the shoulders. Inhale, pull your hands apart from one another. Exhale, little release. Inhale, pull your hands apart from one another. Exhale, little release. One more time. Pull your hands apart from one another. 
Drop your hands down onto your upper thighs. Last round of Kapalabhati breathing. Inhale through your nose. Soft O with your mouth. Here we go. Slowly walk your hands forward, good. Curl those fingers, tuck your toes under, lift your knees two inches away from the floor, coming to that hovering table pose, or if you wanna take a child's pose or stay in hero's pose, do that. Bring that right knee over to the left elbow, and then roll onto that right hand as you extend that right leg. Come back to the center, hovering table, switch. Left knee comes across to the right elbow, roll onto that left hand, extend. Come back to the center line, switch. Roll open and roll open. Actively press the floor away. Stay as juicy as you need to one more time. Nice. Come back to the center line, lower those knees, walk it back, child's pose. Deep in your inhales and exhales here. As you inhale, gently rise to your tabletop. Shift your left hip over to the mat, swinging your legs around to the front edge. Stretching your left leg all the way out, take your right ankle across your left thigh. Interlace your fingers on your right shin and lift the heart high. Maybe feel that swirling energy that's been in you. Wrapping that left arm around the right leg and dropping the right hand behind you or taking the left arm up and swimming it to the outside of that right leg, opening up through that heart space. As you take your twist, remember, flex that left foot, hit the gas pedal with that left leg, bring the hips back to as parallel as feels good to you. Inhale, send length into the spine. Exhale, deepen the twist. Maybe at the very last moment, just looking over that right shoulder with your breath. Come back to the center line, take your time to get there, interlacing those fingers around that shin, lifting up through that heart space. And stepping that right foot out, sliding that right leg long, taking that left foot in, cross the left ankle over that right thigh, inhale, send the heart high as you interlace those fingers around that left leg. And then maybe wrap the right arm around the left leg, sending the left hand behind you on the earth, or reaching that left arm up, swim it across that left thigh, Opening up, up, that delicious twist. Left shoulder drops down away from the ear, firm your right thigh, flex the right toes back towards your nose, engage and breathe. Maybe at that last moment, you turn to look over that left shoulder, but only if it feels good to your body to do so. back out to the center line, interlacing your fingers around that left shin, lifting up, pulling the heart long, stepping that left foot out, stepping the right foot out, inhale to take the arms up and overhead, exhale, drop the fingers down in front of you, inhale to take the heart long, exhale, maybe walk the fingers a little further forward, inhale, the heart goes long, exhale, walk the fingers a little further forward, inhale, the heart goes long, Keep a bend in the knee, exhale, find your edge. Breathe. Feel your waist once again. Feel that place where the upper body connects to the lower body. Perhaps you feel a stretch there. Could you deepen your breath there? Forget for a moment about the mechanics of yoga. And instead, bring forward to your mind the mechanics of being a human being. Gravity holding you on the earth. Atmospheric pressure creating the breath in and the breath out. Release control for just a moment. Inhale, slowly walk your fingers back, up and in. Take your time. Center up through that left leg. Hug the right 
knee in and step the right foot over that left foot, interlacing your fingers around that right leg, lift your heart high, taking that twist once again over to the right side. Option two, squeeze that left leg around so that your legs are both bent. If that doesn't feel like it's in the cards for you today, please feel free to leave that left leg nice and long. As you twist over that right side, option to take that left arm up and take it across the right leg, opening up through the heart, spreading the scapula across the back. Feel that heart open. Beautiful, come back to the center line. Straighten out through that left leg, step your right foot out. Step the left foot in for a moment and windshield wiper the legs from side to side. And then option to step that right leg all the way out. Left leg goes over, lifting up and taking your twist. Or of course you could fold that right leg in if it feels more like you. Inhale to take the heart high. Right arm maybe crosses over the midline, taking it to the outside of that left thigh. Soften your jaw wherever you go will be the right place. Feel the shoulders open. There's no curling in or crunching down. You are so expansive. Honor that. And slowly, slowly coming back to the center line. Extending that right leg out, sending that left leg out, and windshield wiper the legs from side to side. Hook your hamstrings and roll yourself down onto your back. Hug the knees into the chest for just a moment and then release that left leg long. Curl the head, neck, and shoulders off the mat like you were going to bring your nose to your right knee. And then switch the leg that's in. Maybe palms drop beside you on the earth, palms facing down. Maybe hands flip facing up and reach out beside the hips as you switch the knee that's in. Point your toes, breathing here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hugging both knees in towards the chest, roll your head back. Gently roll the head from side to side on the mat. Hug that left knee in towards your chest, send your right leg long, let the right heel hover off the earth. Curl head, neck, and shoulders up to your left knee. Option to reach the arms out as you switch. Right knee comes in, and then left, right, and left. Breathing into that space. Hug your low belly in, zipper it up, feel your breath. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Point those toes. Good. And hug the knees in towards the chest. Open out the arms a comfortable distance away from the body. Shift your hips over to the left and let both knees fall to the right. Maybe reach down with your right hand and draw that left knee in, getting a good twist. And bringing it back to the center. Send your hips over to the right. Send both knees over to the left. Maybe reach down with your left hand and draw that right knee in, getting a nice deep twist. Bringing it back to the center line. Walk the heels in a little closer to the glutes. Drop your palms down by your sides. Tuck your tailbone under and ripple your hips off the earth to your hip bridge. Option to take your block and place it underneath your sacrum for supported hip bridge, or stay in this work, interlacing your fingers and reaching your arms long as you extend through your elbows. Maybe if you take that more restorative version, you're similarly noticing the spine. Again, the waist. Where are all of these little pieces that make up the whole of us? Exhale, separate your hands, move your block, Roll down one vertebra at a time. Stretch your legs long on the mat. Take them wide. Open the arms out a comfortable distance away from the body. On the next in breath, take a deep breath in. And we're going to practice a little bit of B breath. So you can listen to me first if you'd like. It's just a humming breath. And if you need to, keep your knees bent with your feet flat on the mat for a little more comfort. Deep breath in. And you're just going to create that buzzing sound in your throat. One more 
more time. See if you can take it into your chest this time. Mm -hmm. Let yourself relax. Start to breathe easily. Relax your feet. Relax your fingers. Relax your shoulders. Notice all the places in your body that are touching the earth, our strong earth, lush earth. Stay a little longer in Shavasana if you'd like. If you're ready, start to wiggle fingers and toes. Deep in your breath. Maybe feel the wind. Curl the knees in and tip yourself over to your favorite side. And press your way back up to your comfortable seated position. And as you do, press your palms together right at heart center. Lift your heart into your thumb. Dipping your chin down in acknowledgement of your practice today. Happy Earth Day. My name is Megan. It's been my great honor to guide you through practice this morning. Thank you for staying with me. The light in me sees, recognizes, and honors the light in each of you. Namaste. Thank you so much for being with me today. Have a wonderful day. See you again. Namaste.